FS2, it says sales tax needs to be added to the pre-tax price of each shirt. The percentage sales tax is so is, is stored in cell C17. Enter a formula in a suitable cell to calculate the sales tax for a small female shirt. So uh, if we come back over here, let's uh, come back to the normal view. Let's off formula view, the normal view. And <coughs> So this is the price before tax has been applied and now they want us to find the price for a small female shirt with the tax applied. So in C17 uh, they have said that the sales tax is 20%. Once again please do keep in mind it's in the computer has stored it as 20 not as 20%. So when we do the multiplication we have to we have to mention that this is a percentage value. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the sales tax, tax percentage by the pre-tax price to know how much of tax has to be applied. So what I'm going to do is equal this value 20% with the percentage symbol until the computer multiply it by the current pre-tax price. Press enter. Okay. So it says a tax of uh, I'm guessing US dollars 4 has to be applied to the final price. Okay. So what we can do is once again we can replicate it but do remember once you replicate this formula you're going to have a problem and the problem you should be understanding by now is the fact that we want each of these values to be multiplied only with this particular cell. The address of this cell should not change. So what we do is you can either use a shortcut to keep the cursor before the address and press the function key for F4 or else what you can do is you can put the dollar symbol in front of the column address and the dollar symbol in front of the row address. Okay, So one before C and one before 17 which would automatically lock this particular cell number. Okay, and then you press enter and then once you replicate this, you would notice if you check out the formula by as I keep going down, F2 becomes F3 but C17 remains the same. F2, C17, F5, C17, F6, C17. Okay, this particular address does not change, only this address keeps changing as I keep replicating. Okay, so what, what we have found over here is the, um, the amount of tax that has to be applied to each of these prices. So I'll just put over here. Uh, in capitals, sales tax amount. Okay, it's always better to label our columns uh, early before we forget what each of them do. Okay, so uh, then it goes on to say, enter a formula in a suitable cell to calculate the price including the tax for a small female shirt. So, uh, so what I can say over here is final price or total price. You can say total price over here. And uh, what we can do over here is uh, we have the total price over here. So, of course, we understand the total price is going to be the price before tax was applied plus the price of tax is going to be our total price. So, very simply equal this value plus this value is going to be our final price. Okay. So, finally, the shirt is going to be sold for $24.2742. Uh, <clears throat> then it goes on to say replicate these formulas, this, 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 this formula for the other shirts. It's quite simple. Uh, what you do over here is you just replicate this formula for the other shirts as well. Then it goes on to say resave the spreadsheet. So I'm going to say control S and then print the spreadsheet on one side of A4 showing the formula. Make sure that row and column headings are shown. Make sure that all columns are wide enough to show the complete formula. Okay, so I'm just going to select my data over here. And I'm going to come to formulas, show formula. And then I'm going to go press control P. Or you can go file print. Sorry, I can click on file print. Uh, so my entire worksheet is fitting on one A4 paper. You can see page one of one. There's only one A4 paper. If you're having issues in fitting it to one A4 paper, do not forget to make your column smaller. But make sure that the data is clearly visible. Okay. 